The Motino framework of Connected Things is a growing collection of hardware and firmware entities designed for those who love building electronics and in the process add automation and security to their living space. Commercial automation networks are expensive, not open source, and often interface to the company's cloud, which raises privacy concerns. I wanted to automate my home, and after evaluating existing platforms, I realized none was going to fit my requirements. So I designed my own wireless platform that would be small, cost-effective, easy to use, support wireless programming when deployed in difficult places, and of course make it open source. It proved so versatile that many others adopted it as a foundation for their own projects and automation platforms. For instance, I needed a way to check my mail delivery status without guessing my way through a foot of Michigan blazing snow, and so one of the first automated things was the mailbox. I wanted to be able to check my garage door status and trigger a door action if required. I needed to be alerted if the sump pump stopped working or if motion was detected when not expected. I needed to control lights remotely and put them on a schedule, so I created a switch mode which replaces regular light switches and can be wirelessly programmed and controlled. One of the most important aspects of this framework is to make it cross-platform, secure, and have real-time feedback as events happen. This is achieved with a web app that runs on Node.js secured WebSockets and provides two-way real-time updates. These are some of the elements of the growing family of Motino-based devices which power the Motino framework, and more are being added in response to user feedback and suggestions. The central computer in the Motino framework is an enhanced Raspberry Pi, which is the gateway to the internet for the wireless network. Part of this challenge is to back it up with a LiPo battery to keep it running during any power outages. Also, a new challenge is to enhance the existing web app to add more integration and visual interfacing to the various new devices. The Hackaday Prize entry will be an opportunity and incentive to move this platform forward and finish some of the parts that are in progress. So I hope you find it interesting and give it a skull on Hackaday.